everybody welcome back to my channel it's the run up to christmas and i thought i would show you some of the bits that i have picked up now there's a few things for my christmas table we are hosting this year in this very room on this table and i've picked up a few bits for that still got quite a few things to get like crackers and and other bits to make my table look nice but i have got a few bits here i've been to primark and picked up a few little bits that i can wear over the christmas period uh, that will carry me through into January, February time. I've been to Asda, I've been to Sainsbury's, I've also ordered a couple of bits from Amazon. So I thought I would show you everything that I've picked up over the last like two or three days, aside from a few presents that I can't obviously show on here. I really hope that you enjoy this video. If you do, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and stick around for more videos like this one. So let's start with Primark, I got a few bits um, and a mixture of different things from clothes to a couple of bits of homework and stocking fillers which I'm happy to show on here because they're for Tom and there will be no way that he will watch my YouTube videos, he refuses, point blank, no, I asked him if he would subscribe, he said no and that's my husband so let's start with the first item of clothing, this cord black pinafore dress it's got this top the tortoise shell buttons down the front of it and um, it's made from this uh, cord material and this was reduced down from 13 pounds to seven in the sale i've got a camel um top sort of like this even this top would look nice underneath it um with tights and boots so I thought that was quite good for £7. The next thing that I picked up for myself was this leather skirt. Um, it's a high-waisted one. Because of the shape of it, I can easily get my bum into it um, because it, it comes quite big around the bottom. So if you've got a big bum and big hips and a small waist, then this skirt looks really, really nice on. Same again, I'm just going to tuck tops like this into it, where we tight some boots over Christmas layer up with scarves, coats, big chunky jumpers over the top. I, I actually might wear this on Christmas day. The next thing I picked up, again for myself, is this gorgeous chocolate brown scarf. It's got like a herringbone weave to it, um, so it's not completely plain. Um, yeah, it's a gorgeous chocolate brown colour and it was a bargain, £4 for that. I thought it would just be nice to break up an all black outfit. And the main colours in my wardrobe are creams, blacks, whites, greys, because um, I'm a ball. And so I thought that that would be nice as a little bit of something different. I also got this one, which is like a lovely camel colour. I'm just keeping it all very neutral, very cosy. Browns, camels, creams, whites, blacks, greys, you get the gist. And this again was £4, so I thought that that was a bargain too, and I was in need of some new scarves. Next up, a couple of little presents that I picked up. So I always buy for Tom some Christmas undies. So this was £7, and you get this one with baubles on it, this one with little penguins on it, and uh, this one with Christmas cactus. And yeah, I just think that that's like quite a good stocking filler. Not too sure how keen he will be me showing you his underpants on YouTube, but whatever. He doesn't watch my videos anyway, so he won't know. Next, I just picked up this Christmas tree silver birch scented candle for one British pound, and it smells incredible. So this will be just in my dining room on Christmas Day, making the house smell all Christmassy. Okay, next up, I just picked up this because it was £3.50 and it is the Jenna Frooms collection in Primark. I've been told that the moisturiser is incredible, but I couldn't get my hands on it. Um, my makeup artist told me, actually, that that's what she's using on all the clients at the moment. When she put it on me, I asked what it was because it felt like a really expensive product. So if you can get your hands on that, i definitely recommend it, although I couldn't find it. But I picked up this highlight and blush palette. Um, and it's just got this gorgeous like silvery um, highlight which I thought would be nice on the inner corner of your eyes and to highlight your brow bone and a blush because I don't own a nice blusher and I don't really want to treat myself to an expensive one when Christmas is around the corner so I thought £3.50 can't go wrong and that looks like a really nice peachy pink subtle shade. 
Next up from Primark, a couple of little things just to have in the cupboard because I've got kids coming round on Christmas Day and usually when we're all playing games, they will go into the living room and watch a film uh, when it gets quite late because they're usually tired. So we'll play games with them like The Chase and um, all different types of like family games and then later on when they're feeling a bit tired they can go into the living room watch a nice film and use these milk chocolate marshmallow stirring spoons so i want some milk for them pop them in and they will love them on christmas day another little stocking filler that i bought for tom so this is a toy story mug and toy story pair of socks this is nine pound just a nice like novelty gift it could be a good secret santa present Although I assume you've all done your Secret Santas by the time this video goes live. But yeah, a good idea. He loves Toy Story Mate, so that's what I picked up for him. I then got myself some of these little silver hoops. These are what I'm wearing recently. Um, you can't go wrong for £2. I lose earrings, so me having expensive earrings isn't a very good idea. I've got one pair of really nice Tiffany ones that I wear now and again. But day to day, I will just shove these little Primark ones in and yeah they're just really pretty i can get a close-up of them oh i tell a lie i've actually bought two of those christmas tree candles so i've got two for a pound i've already opened this but i picked up this from near the tills it was 90p and you get two tape dispensers from primark so i thought that was quite handy i then picked up some um curvy grips from primark these just go wandering around the house it's no wonder my dyson is broke because of the amount of these that are all over my floor not good um but yeah i picked up them and they were a pound last but not least from primark i got these gorgeous little tea light holders with gold on them as you can see behind me and here my dining room is very much gray navy uh, we've got some whites and then it's all dark wood and greenery at the minute. My Christmas table is going to have a little bit of blue if I can get hold of a navy blue tablecloth, which at the minute I'm finding quite difficult. Um, Tom's even talking about running one up on the sewing machine uh, because we really want a dark tablecloth this year. And um, I want these dotted around the table. So if you can see behind me, that dinner candle there is from Anthropology. And the candle holder was from B&Q. It's like a gorgeous muted matte gold um, on the holder. And I think that these just go really nice with the rest of the decor in the dining room. So I bought four of them to dot around my Christmas table. And it would just be nice. Set a nice ambiance on Christmas Day. Oh, by the way, they were £1.50 each, so I paid £6 for four of them. And I can use them every year. I can just keep changing the tea lights inside. I can't show you the next one because it's a gift for somebody else. But um, just to tell you that Primark at the minute have got loads and loads of novelty gifts in. Not just the mugs um, and the Disney stuff. They've got loads of like really good um games to play on christmas day they've got lie detector tests they've got um the tamagotchi um virtual pets that are brilliant they were only three pounds um all sorts of stuff so if you are struggling for stocking filler type things get yourself to primark if you can over the next few days because they have got some really good unique gifts why do i feel the need to do this when i set the camera so that i'm like that okay so I'm making a couple of little hampers up for um, friends and family. Tom's grandma is 95 and she loves, bloody loves a word search. So whenever I take her shopping, we'll pop into Tesco or wherever and she'll pick up a word of like a puzzle book, um, a magazine. So I picked up this for her from um, the gift section in Marks and Spencers and it's a hardback word search puzzle book. I'm going to get her this with a bottle of sherry and some sugar-free um, traditional sweets and just make her a little hamper um, and I'm also going to pop in a picture from the wedding in a frame. She will absolutely love that, I know she will and this just makes a really nice gift. I thought that was good, a good find and something that she'll appreciate and that was £8 from Marks and Spencers. Okay, the next store that I went to was Asda 
and I picked up this jumper for myself. I saw this a few weeks ago and I really wanted it then. Um, I think that is absolutely gorgeous. I've tried it on, it's beautiful. I might even wear this on Christmas day with that leather skirt tucked in, tights and boots, and I'll just be really comfy on Christmas day. Um, I wanna know in the comments whether you dress up to the nines on Christmas day or whether you're all about comfort and you like being cozy. Um, but for me, comfort is key. I love being comfy. Um, so yeah, I may wear this on Christmas day, but I just thought it's a really nice jumper to have anyway. Me being a jumper connoisseur, and I say that seriously, I love a jumper. I become an expert on the way that jumpers fit. This is a really slouchy fit and it's not gonna stick to you around your hips. I hate that about jumpers. I love jumpers that just hang and this just hangs off you um, really, really nicely. It was a bit pricey for Asda. It was 18 pounds. I just think I'm gonna look so cozy in this room on Christmas day. Eating camembert, loving life. Next, for Tom, another bit of crap that he'll appreciate on Christmas Day. Musical socks. So, I don't think he'll be wearing a Christmas jumper on Christmas Day, but he loves a funky pair of socks. His favourite socks are ones with rubber ducks on them, so I thought he would love these, because watch. It's Santa stuck down a chimney. These were £3. enough for you till Christmas day mister. I spent something like eight or nine pounds in the card factory and I got all those cards including money wallets for all the nieces and nephews in my family. Just makes it easier because I come from a big family and Tom does as well so we have a lot of kids and I want to take the stress out of Christmas as much as possible because we host here. So when I can cut corners I will. I know it's not very personal to give cash it at Christmas but at the same time I think children are quite overwhelmed at Christmas anyway I don't even think they would notice if I didn't get them anything or if I just got them a selection box or something like that I'm sure they would have been happy with it but what Tom and I decide to do every year is just give them money in a card because um then they can use it at their leisure and um it just makes it a lot easier for us it's literally you get four of them for a pound in the card factory that's how I've managed to Get them all so cheap. The next thing I've picked up is from Sainsbury's. Now, I need to talk to you about Sainsbury's. All the Christmas decor type things have already gone into the sale and are already slashed by about 50%. From Sainsbury's, I have picked up these. So I've paid £12 for eight of these. They are winter cabin acorn place name holders. So I will just use a gold sharpie, write out place names and stick them on there. They will go onto a charger plate um, with a Christmas cracker behind it and my um, Christmas table always looks really pretty. So I'm dead happy with them and I'm glad I got them for a bargain. I think that these will come in use every year now. They're, they're a beautiful like brown, um, so they're gonna kind of go with anything that I ever decide to do at Christmas time. The very last thing I want to show you is this artificial garland that I have bought from Amazon. So this is six foot long. It cost me around £12, but I will leave it linked down below for you. And from far away, I think it looks pretty real. I may even pop into the florist and add some real um, foliage to this, but I'm happy with it. I think it's pretty. Um, and I think it's just going to be really nice in the mid, in the centre of the table. It's not going to take up too much room. I did think about getting a centrepiece that I saw in Sainsbury's. When, um, it was from the Winter's Cabin range in Sainsbury's. And it was a gorgeous like centrepiece for the middle of your table. But I thought it would take up too much room. And we always struggle for space um, with having eight to nine people round for dinner. So... I thought, keep it simple, weave this in and out of things on the table and then it doesn't take up too much room, it doesn't stop people being able to see each other around the table and you can just weave pillar candles in and out of it and obviously these little ones which I think look really nice. So that is everything I'm going to show you in today's video. 
I won't be doing a haul now until after Christmas, obviously, because the rest of the things I can't really show on here in case people see them. But I really hope that you are not too stressed uh, leading up to Christmas. I hope that you all have a lovely, lovely time. If you're finding this time of year quite difficult, because I know a lot of people do, um, I am going to be doing a video about feeling sad, depressed and um, anxious. Not just leading up to Christmas, but just in general. And I think that that might help. So definitely make sure you hit that subscribe button and stick around for that video. Thank you very much for watching everybody. That concludes this video. Really hope that you enjoyed it. And I will see you next time in my next video. Bye.